Okay, today I am making Chrissy tacos. Right now I'm just browning my ground beef. I added a little bit of cayenne pepper to make it spicy. I'm just gonna brown and chop the beef and then I'll let you uh, know the next step. Okay, I'm cutting my lettuce. I didn't already cut it up my uh, tomatoes for the tacos. And I got my sour cream, my cheese, my seasons, my wraps. I got heart and salt, and I'll walk you through the next step. Okay, the ground beef is almost done browning. After that, after it's completely brown, I'm going to drain the uh, grease off of there and start the next step. Okay, I'm straining some of the grease. As you can see, the meat is not all the way done, but I'm just getting most of the grease out of there so I can um, basically continue cooking the meat and uh, chopping it. And stay tuned for the next step. Okay, I done added the ground beef back in the frying pan. I'm going to continue to cook it till it's completely brown. And I'm going to chop it. Okay, I done added some packs of the taco seasoning. I'm going to add my last pack. You add enough water, maybe like a, depending on how much you um, make, I'm going to need like almost a half a cup to um, get mine right to incorporate the sauce. So this is my last pack right here. If I could get it open. I'll just rip it again. And as y'all know, this is what brings you into Flavor Town. Mix that in, add my water, and then wait for everything to simmer together. So once you keep mixing and incorporating everything, this is going to thicken. Everything's getting ready to change colors. And then you will have that saucy ground beef. And I'll keep you posted on the next step. Okay, I got my ground beef going on and I'm about to lay my lettuce, tomatoes, sauce, cheese, sour cream. Alright, now I done added my cheese, my lettuce, tomatoes, um, sour cream. And then plate them. Okay, there you have it, the tacos plated, ready to be eaten.